So, Jock, we're here at Kingsley Park, Mark Johnston's uh, main stable, one of three. Uh, and tell us a little bit, first and foremost, about your role here. Yeah, well, I started here um, well over 20 years ago, about 22 years ago. I started off in them days with we head lads. Uh, I was second head lad. And then, not long after that, the main head lad left and we decided to change the structure. And we increased from head lads and we changed to yard managers and uh, we split the yard up into four four yards and into smaller teams and it went from there we now have progressed i was yard manager for me 10 of them years and then uh, uh, and then moved on to assistant trainer about 12 years ago so um, i've seen the players progress uh, a lot really yeah and, and obviously now as we stand there's about 300 horses spread about the, the different yards the organization that's in needed to, to to get those horses prepared for the track and to, to run in the right races all those sort of things is quite staggering but from what i gather the systems you have in place here are, are unlike anywhere else yeah i mean in, uh, in them days we, we were maybe 150 horses and um I just thought with them systems that we did put in place, having ma uh, managers who looked after less horses um, and a smaller team, you were able to give more attention to detail. And I thought, well, it doesn't matter how big you get, as long as you employ another manager and another team. And that's what we've done over the years. You know, um, you know, some managers do have bigger teams than others, but. Uh, Generally, we, you know, if we had an, another hundred horses to train, we'd take another three yard managers on another three teams. Um, so, you know, with the systems we have in place, that's how we manage it. And, and how do you manage those teams? Like, how, how do you orchestrate all the people and making sure they're doing their, their jobs correctly? Well, that's down to the yard manager. Um, you know, everything comes from the top, Mark, Charlie, Deirdre, through myself. Um, but the yard managers organise their teams, um, you know, you know, if they've only got 30 horses to look at, you know, Mark and Charlie and, De you know, they're, they're trying to think of 300 horses at times. Where, you know, the yard manager only has 30 to 40 horses to look at with a team of, say, 10 people. So he's able to give that quite a bit of his time. OK, so it's, it's kind of a, a system of communication, really, first and foremost, isn't it? Yeah, well, that communication goes all the way back up to the top. So it starts at the bottom, works its way up to the top. But we have systems in place with our colour chart, um, our um, system where, you know, every horse is on the computer, every bit of data is on there from the day it arrives to the day it leaves and stays on there, and we can always recall it. It's, it's a great system we have. That helps us keep in touch with everything. At the touch of a button, we can look at the computer, we can look and see what a horse has done all the time it's been here, what way it is, what drugs it's had, everything is just there. And that's that's all the details in terms of its daily routine, isn't it? So if it's been on the, the water walker or in the swimming pool, what it's done on the gallops, all that sort of thing, it's all input into that system, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's there, been on the water walker, been on a walker, treadmill, whatever it is, it, it's all colour-coded, it's all there on its... Um, on its colour chart and it's, uh, it's very easy just to look up and see what it's done because it's very hard to keep in touch with 280, 300 horses. Yeah. And of course that, that's, that's something that you know it'd be very easy with that number of horses just for them all to basically do exactly the same thing, you know, go up the same gallop every day, do the same routine and, and just kind of treat it as a, a numbers game. But from what I gather, every horse has very much its own routine and is treated very much individually. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, you know. Um, it doesn't work like that by any means. Um, each horse is, you know, we have two full-time vets who dictate to us what exercise regarding any swimming or water walker or anything like that. It's all individually, you know, done to that to that horse. It just isn't a matter of they all go on the walker, they all go on here. It is all dictated to by, you know, by the people who, you know, like the vets that are telling you what to do. Yeah, and of course a, a huge team effort but what I've seen this morning on my, my time here is that it seems a very happy team as well. And that's that's presumably down to just, like you say, that, that management and people being looked after. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, conditions are good here. Um, you know, uh, the team, you know, um, we've always had a sort of team system, you know, since I've been here and it, it works very well. 
And presumably there's no ambition to grow things further or is there still always room for expansion? Well, I always said in the first place I thought we'd got as big as we we, we could, but obviously we hadn't, so I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not the man to answer that one.